Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 24th of August, uh, 2022. So Fed can't stop supply side inflation is the main headline this morning. Absolutely. And in the UK, there are forecasts now of 18% by January of next year. Uh, stocks and bonds soar. Dollar pukes as dismal data dump reignites Fed pivot. I don't know where the stocks uh, soar bit comes from. Bonds may of uh, moved higher but uh, stocks didn't but they didn't really sell off yesterday either it's that tuesday feeling where the market uh, was showing a bit of uh, demand and a narrow range the odds of a 75 basis uh, hike in september is back below 50 percent but we'll have to wait and see on the other data bonds and stocks the dollar sink as hawkish uh, hedges dominate dovish dismal data this is far from uh, this is as far as uh, bear market rallies go so again, another forecast set for lower stocks. Dollar takes a hit as the US PMI paint a grim picture. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, bad data coming through now. US stocks uh, were mostly subdued as a weak PMI data stoked uh, slow down fears. Yeah, that's what I saw yesterday was uh, the stocks were more subdued. And uh, news today, what have we got? Uh, we start the Jackson Hole Symposium tomorrow, but today we've just got... Uh, not a lot really. Uh, crude oil inventories now are classed as uh, low impact. I mean, amazing how these uh, keep changing. That was uh, high during the COVID pandemic and now it's uh, down at uh, low, which is why I've had to put them back on because we keep missing uh, some of the crucial data. You'll be in a trade and wonder why it moved and then you find that the um, unemployment data is actually low impact, which is uh, bizarre. And gold-silver ratio sideways uh, at uh, the moment. Again, everything's waiting for tomorrow when uh, Powell will be speaking at the Jackson Hole Symposium. And meanwhile, in the markets uh, yesterday, you can see in, uh, the breaks were on yesterday. Uh, also, we've got an increase in volume there as the market uh, slowed at 89% uh, uh, retracement there. And uh, overnight uh, price is also finding a bit of support. So you may see a bit of a bounce uh, today, given that we've got uh, no news as well. Uh, yesterday, market up with the European markets, then down and then had a bit of a rally to the close uh, during the opening of uh, yesterday's Dow cash session. And then uh, the market uh, moving lower and then becoming sideways. Overnight prices have moved down to the low and are now just uh, trading back above, which is... Uh, what uh, you're likely to see a bit of a move off this uh, come 7 a.m. In the German DAX, similar picture as well, 89% retracement, market trading below yesterday's low on the overnight market. But once again, narrower range yesterday, so the brakes are being put on at the moment. Unless there's any geopolitical news, the market looks set to uh, attempt to try and move back up again back above the low after drifting down overnight. Yesterday, a nice move to the upside in the 30 minute chart uh, before then moving lower throughout the remainder of the trading session. Five minute chart uh, shows an inside look at this. Uh, you can see up and then down in the uh, futures. Then in the cash, the market uh, just continue to pile on the points, uh, 150 points to the upside and then just uh, drifted down for the remainder of the session. And in the afternoon, about a 70 point move with the Dow, uh, where we saw the initial move to the upside, then the divergence, and then uh, the market uh, moving back to the downside there. And overnight, you can, say you can see the market coming back above the low at the moment and holding quite nicely. So again, at the moment, starting to show uh, a bit of interest towards the upside. In the S&P, same as the Dow and the DAX, at the 89%, there's your demand that uh, I spoke of earlier, as prices put in a narrower range, and you see a lot more buying there. 30 minute charts uh, up initially, and then uh, some, uh, the open of the Dow there at uh, 2.30, not the Dow, the S&P, I should say. And then just stuck in a sideways range, like I say, just waiting for uh, Powell. The FTSE also uh, sideways at 78.89 at the 20 bar moving average at the moment. And in the 30 minute chart, uh, you can see there a choppy one for the FTSE off initially up with the cash 
and then uh, making its way and stuck it in a sideways move there. Uh, retested the low, hasn't traded below the low, unlike all of the other stock markets. The FTSE holding at yesterday's low at the moment. In the currencies, the yen sideways to lower as well, making lower highs at the moment. So we could see a resumption and a retest of the lows in the uh, the the, um, the yen uh, yesterday. The market uh, showing demand oversold, moving up to the 200 MA before uh, we see a bit of a sell off there. Again, one o'clock when the, the dollar index uh, kicked off, and uh, you can see their prices uh, sideways, and uh, then just stuck uh, in a sideways range until they've drifted uh, lower there. And there's the low, always watch the low in all markets and the high as well, they give uh, great clues. But at the moment, a bit of demand and uh, picking up uh, from the support to the left there for yesterday. Interesting day on the pound, uh, straight reversal yesterday, uh, back to the five bar moving average, uh, the weakness may resume. Uh, but uh, yesterday, big spike to the upside as the dollar index opened on the exchange. Uh, you can see the market uh, pull back a bit uh, overnight back to the DP. Um, but yesterday morning down sideways, uh, as you'll see there before breaking out uh, to the upside for the pound. And also coming off uh, obviously very important area there of uh, 117. And in the metals yesterday, surprise, surprise, uh, silver being allowed to move back up, uh, stuck at the five bar moving average. That's because the dollar was allowed to move. We are now seeing oversold uh, area there at uh, 78.89 in the 30 minute chart. I uh, see the spike there to the upside as the dollar came back. But we were heading down after the uh, 1 p.m. fix as usual. Uh, down on the overnight to the DP where we're seeing a bit of a bounce uh, at the moment. The same for gold, putting in a reversal there yesterday at 78% retracement. And there you can see also the spike up in uh, the gold price. And this is the talk of the 18% inflation as well, uh, which I very much doubt. But uh, you never know. Uh, inflation is being discounted at the moment by the metals markets or by the metals traders and banks. But no surprise. The dollar uh, sharply down yesterday, which you can see trading to the five bar moving average, bouncing off this and then overnight prices uh, stable at uh, 89 needs to close back above this to get back above that 109. And then finally, we've got uh, crude oil continuing to move to the upside, which is not what we want to see, but it is at this time. OK, that's it uh, for this one. I would expect the markets uh, to be sideways to higher unless there's something of a geopolitical nature that comes out and then drives the market to the downside. But uh, you should always trade what you see, not what you think it's going to do. But given the fact that we had a narrow range yesterday, the market showing demand in a few markets as well in the daily chart, then uh, a bit of a slowing and deceleration, then that's likely to be the case. And also the markets attempted to get back above yesterday's low after being below this on the overnight markets as well. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. Have a great day. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.